Another Star Wars movie. I'm honestly pretty excited for it. Even if it's a terrible movie, we'll get some good figures out of it. And usually with each Star Wars movie, we get new troopers and now we have the First Order Jet Trooper. So on the front of the box, you get a window on the front and a pic of the Jet Trooper below that. On the side, you get the number of this figure, which is number 99 in the Black Series line. And on the back, you get a bigger picture of the Jet Trooper art that was on the front and you get a small bio. Now, out of the box, I think this guy looks really cool. The sculpt and detail on this is really good all around. And the paint actually is not just a flat white. It actually has the same effect that was on the box from what I can tell. Not sure if the camera is picking it up, but it looks really good. The paint apps all around this are pretty clean. And real quick, taking a look at the jetpack, I really like the design of this. Again, the paint and sculpt on it looks really good. And just in case you're wondering, it is not removable. Now for articulation, the head and also the neck is on a ball joint, which is very surprising. I think this might be the first time we're actually seeing neck joints now from Hasbro. I could be wrong about that. But both joints combine to let the head look up, down, rock side to side, and rotate 360 degrees. The arms can go up. The shoulder armor actually tucks into the torso without any problems, which is nice. The arms can go down those sides, up, back, and around. You get single jointed elbows that get 90 degrees. And they swivel to make up for the lack of bicep swivel. The left wrist goes in and out, and the right wrist goes up and down, and they both swivel. The torso can crunch forward, lean back, rock side to side, and rotate all the way around. The legs can split. The belt is a soft rubber, so it doesn't hinder it too much. They can kick up, kick back. You get a thigh swivel, double joint and knees. Foot goes up, down, and rock side to side. As for accessories, you get this gun, which has a sight and a triple barrel, which is very interesting, but it does look really cool. And there's very nice paint and details on this. And that's it. That's the only accessory you get. On to size comparisons. Here he is next to Marvel Legends, just in case you're wondering. And at least with these two figures, I think he scales really well with them. And here he is next to a Figuarts First Order Stormtrooper, Figuarts Tank Commander, and a Figuarts Scarif Trooper. And he goes great with Figuarts, just in case Figuarts collectors are wondering. Overall, I do really like this figure. It's a new variation of a First Order Stormtrooper, which is awesome. It's pretty much a specialized Stormtrooper also. And the sculpt is great. The paint is great. The articulation is great. Would have been nice to get double jointed elbows. The accessories are great. Again, would have been nice to maybe include some jetpack effects. But then again, I don't really know what else they could have included with this figure as we haven't really seen him in action in the movie yet because it's not even out. But it's another trooper and I'm a sucker for new Star Wars troopers. Clone troopers, stormtroopers, battle droids, whatever. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button and hit that big red subscribe button down below to help support me and support better content for the future of this channel. Like, subscribing, and even sharing if you do helps bring in more and newer people to my channel, helps this channel grow, and pushes me to create better content, more content, and just expand the variety on this channel even more. If you do want to see more pictures of this figure, I'll be leaving a link down below to my Instagram. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it as always. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next video with the second sister Inquisitor from Jedi Fallen Order. Take care, guys. Peace.